Oh, you don't want to be on camera? She didn't want to be on camera. Mufflers are a thing that exists. I don't know if the owner of that truck knows that. So this morning I was thinking we might go to Miraflores, but uh, apparently the exhibition rooms are closed, so we're gonna do Panama Viejo today. First though, we are going to get some coffee because that's super critical to our continued function. Uh, we're gonna walk up the street to Knoll because of the three immediately available coffee destinations in our area that's the best of the bunch and it's only like two blocks so that's where we're headed now so here we are two blocks later Noel Petit Cafe but the pizza is fresh so that's not really tempting so notice the whole pricing and consistency there those marmalades the jams the four fruit is four dollars and seventy-four cents. Strawberry is four dollars and seventy-four cents. The orange is four dollars and seventy-five cents. Uh, the egg bugs seem to lot for a bag of marshmallows. All of the French do nuts are uh, either four twenty-five or four fifty. I think she's gonna think of a little bit more. Kind of interesting to see exactly how close the old city and the new city are. A little over three miles from our hotel. So we finished the museum, which was pretty fascinating. A lot more displays than I anticipated. 
there's a little, uh, little cafe. So just in case you need a snack. So Panama Viejo, in case you weren't aware of this, is the original old town uh, sacked in the 17th century by the pirate Henry Morgan to try and prevent Spain from having such a strong hold on the area. But uh, then they didn't set it up as an English colony, they just wanted to piss off the Spaniards, I guess. The town was eventually moved to what is now Casco Viejo, the old town, and I think most people who are planning a visit to Panama City probably see Casco Viejo, think, oh yeah, that's old town, and then maybe aren't even aware of Panama Viejo, which is a shame because it's pretty fascinating history and kind of an interesting site. And also, if you're thinking about coming here and you're uh, concerned about the language, a lot of the signs have English interpretations, translations, if you will, and most of them also have a QR code that you can go get more information. We got a group of people headed up the turret there. Man, there's an awful lot of noise inside that abandoned building, but... And the ruins are primarily 16th century Spanish architecture, but there was a settlement here prior to that, before the Spaniards arrived. There were indigenous peoples living in this area. Just off and off in the middle level of the cathedral here. There's a school field trip thing going on. Next level up. Kids are above, which is a good place for them to be. And also, if you're uh, chronologically gifted and hate stairs as much as I do, it's kind of nice to have a stopping point each flight or two flights. typical Spanish cathedral architecture as well. Haven't seen enough to really compare. Oh, 
Modern city. Owls to the right. Owls to your right. Give me a And just in case you were wondering, yes, this is a lot of steps. Easier going down than up, though. We're just chilling in the shade for a few minutes to let that group of, uh, I don't know, maybe there's a hundred of them, grade schoolers, get ahead of me on the tour. Because individually, they uh, don't make much noise, but as a group, holy smokes. But speaking of chilling out in the shade, I just came over to check out this sign that talks about the mouth of the uh, Abajo River and decided that I, I need my parasol. The sun is, is doing a thing. And I don't know, being closer to the equator, I guess the sun is closer than it is in Oregon. I don't know, seems like reasonable physics. So the Panama Viejo ruins are a huge area and I'm gonna wander around for a while. Most of the guidebooks say you should allow two hours uh, if you're a little bit of a history buff like myself. I mean, not a lot, but a little bit. I, two hours might be a little bit aggressive. I wouldn't plan anything immediately after. Plus, since you're in Panama City, it's gonna be hot. I mean, that's, that's pretty much just a given. So, like most of our attraction videos if you will my intent is not to show you the whole thing and give you the tour and tell you the full story my intent is to hopefully make it look interesting enough that you'll want to come visit yourself so i'm going to wander for a while and i'll check in later <clears throat> and that cathedral doesn't look very tall from here but when you're climbing up two four six eight flights of stairs it's uh it's a little bit taller I guess if you're a Hoovian, you'd say it's uh, bigger on the inside. Taller on the inside, anyway. side of the gravel drive. As far as my comment about the time taken to spend on this site, uh, we got here at 10.30. It is 12.25 right now, and I have covered the museum over there and the ruins to that side of the museum and there is a minimum quarter mile of ruins stretched along that gravel road to get us back to the entry point. On the other hand, having said that about there being a least another quarter mile of ruins to get back to the entry point. Um, if you've seen one 16th century Spanish ruin, they're, they're all pretty much just like that. So maybe don't feel obligated to do the entire thing and go and look at every building. I probably will because that's just who I am. But if you just do this section up here by the museum and then out that way, do the cathedral, 
you'll have a really, really, really good sense of the site and uh, also the historical significance. And in case anyone's wondering about perspective here, the camera is at my eye level. So the camera is seeing pretty much exactly what I see as I wander through here. <clears throat> The primary advantage the camera has, relative to my eyes though, is that uh, the camera doesn't have to worry about sweat dripping down off its forehead into its eyes. Holy smoke. Lady of Grace. I was just about to uh, make the comment about her not being identified, even though she's obviously in a point of prominence up there. Well, crumbs. I thought we were done with stairs. Apparently that's not the case. I guess this whole cathedral has another level as well. Maybe a slightly better view of Our Lady of Grace. So I think I've wandered about as far as I care to wander. The uh, curve there, I recall correctly, is just a few hundred meters back to where we entered into the uh, ruins. So I'm gonna head back to the museum, and catch up with Sandra, who was chilling at the little restaurant snack bar thing. I assume she didn't get bored and leave without me. I haven't seen any texts anyway. So I'm on my way back to the gift shop museum area. I you can see the trolley down there at the end of the gravel, but that's where I'm going. 
and cold drink and I am done with this. So that's it for Panama Viejo with the mobile retiree. Hope you saw enough to get you interested in traveling down here to see it yourself. Or if not, at least you're interested enough to go travel somewhere and see something yourself. If you want to support us, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave us a comment, join us on Facebook at the mobile retiree or even on our website at themobileretiree.com. Special shout out today to two folks who've directly supported us through the uh, Buy Me a Coffee link on our blog, and that would be Joe Marinick and Patty McClellan. Thanks very much for your support, guys. We will spend it wisely on food and cold beverages. Thanks again. And looks like we're finishing up just in time for some thunderstorms to move in within the next couple minutes. Fortunately, we've got our brawlies, so we're golden. See you next time.